Hey, what's up YouTube? Today, I have another CFW tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna be adding a few more tutorials to the CFW playlist, so look out for those in the upcoming weeks. So there will be some pretty interesting CFW tutorials coming up, and I am still trying to figure some out. So just bear with me and I'll get the rest of those tutorials and uploads up when I can. But today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to fix the homebrew launcher when you're trying to launch it and it freezes and you get that dreaded black screen. So today we're gonna to be fixing this with homebrew launcher. This is for custom firmware 3DS consoles, of course. This doesn't apply to regular users. So if you're having problems loading homebrew and you're getting black screen whenever you're trying to load homebrew, then this tutorial is for you. All the steps you need to follow will be right here in this video and all the links will be down left in the description. So let's get started. So to fix this problem, you're going to need to head over to this website right here, of which I've left the link down below in the description. You're gonna go over here to this website and you're gonna scroll right down to where you need to go. So you're gonna scroll down to this section right here and you're gonna select your firmware version, whatever firmware that you may be on. Whatever you're running, you can check that by clicking on the little settings in your 3DS and then look at the bottom right hand corner and there you will see your firmware version and whatever it is, you will place it here. So I'm gonna place mine and that is 116039U. That may be different for you, but Whatever it is, just place it here in the box, and then click on other app, download. And there you go. Also, make sure you put Pacific whether you have old or new 3DS as well. That also matters. Once you're done here, you can close this out. So once you've downloaded the other app.bin, you're gonna go to wherever you download it. Most likely is in your downloads. You're gonna select it and rename it to the firmware version that you're currently running on. So mine's is 116039U. And for the, for the version, you want to add the whole USA, or if you're Europe, you want to add the whole EUR. So I'll just paste it in. I've already copied it, but I'll show you a little example of what it should look like. It should look like this, but whatever firmware you're on. And if, whether that's USA, put it fully. If it's Europe, then EUR as you see it here. So I'm just gonna paste it in place right now. And then we're done with step one. So now we're gonna take this file that we just copied and put it over into the homebrew launcher folder inside of your 3DS. So open up your SD card, take the SD card first out of your 3DS and then place it into your computer. However you may do that with an SD card converter or if you're on the new 3DS wirelessly, but however you may do that, you want to then put your SD card on your computer and open the homebrew launcher folder. Once you arrive here at the homebrew launcher folder, you can then copy the file that you had in the downloads folder and paste it over into here like so. Delete any old bins you may have had in the homebrew launcher before. Once you do that, you're done here. You're gonna go back to the root of your SD card once again. Then we're gonna go back to our downloads folder, take that same file and rename it to other app.bin and then place it 
into your SD card. As you can see, I had to replace it because I already had one, but you could either copy or drag it into the folder. Either one is fine. Once you're done with that, you're done. Remove your SD card from your computer and place it back into your 3DS. So after you've placed the homebrew launcher file into the homebrew launcher folder and replaced the other app or added the other app, try running your homebrew launcher once again. Once you run it, it should work. It's easy as eating a piece of cake. Well, that pretty much wraps things up for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I hope it's been helpful to you. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those comments down below in the comment section and I'll answer them when I can. Also, hit the like button if this video helped you and also hit the like button to help share the video as well. Well, anyways, guys, until next time, this has been K7. Peace. See you guys later.